This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. So one of the things that keeps bubbling around in my brain as you're talking is this incredibly rich ecosystem that we have here, where we've got the successful entrepreneurs with a great track record. We've got the angel investors. We have the VCs. We've got this... Of course, we've got these talented uh, students coming out of Stanford who are feeding these companies. Are there, is there any other place in the world that has this type of ecosystem? And can it be replicated? Not even close. I'm really opinionated on this topic because we have like five investments in New York that they're great companies, but they're, they're more work than you know three companies in Silicon Valley because the ecosystem is not there. Uh, the cost of you know the cost of living here is awful. It's worse in New York. We cannot find CEOs who will work for less than three hundred thousand a year. That's terrible. You know the most a CEO should make in a startup is a hundred k. So the ecosystem in Silicon Valley is so powerful. No one is going to come near us as far as I can see. I mean these relationships where you have. The lawyers, the attorneys, the bankers to give you know venture loans, the angels, it goes on and on and on. Just the attitude, the can-do attitude of Silicon Valley. It, it's nowhere close anywhere else. And every time I invest, even in LA, we have all kinds of problems where I say to the entrepreneur, if you just move to Silicon Valley, all this will be solved. Yeah, and, and that's that's actually borne out by the facts. So I was I was talking not long ago to a to somebody who invests in VC funds, and they've they've invested in hundreds of them over the last thirty years. And I said, well, what what's the one thing you've learned? He said, um, draw a twenty five mile radius around Stanford University, and seventy five percent of all returns in the venture business have come from there. And that, I mean, that is a statistic, right? I mean, that's just, that's an incredibly powerful argument about just the power of Silicon Valley and the ecosystem. And, and somewhere on the order of 90% plus have come from that plus 10 mile radius around Route 128 in Boston. So, so, so can yeah. you be in a situation where there are too many resources? Can there be too much money chasing deals? No way. There can't be. <laughs> then there's more, no, there's more competition and the, the entrepreneur wins in that situation. The more choices entrepreneurs have, the better the ecosystem is. That's why Silicon Valley is so great. If I say no to an entrepreneur, the great news is there's another angel down the street that hopefully will do that deal. My goal is that every entrepreneur gets funded because I think there aren't enough entrepreneurs. The more entrepreneurs the more Silicon Valley will thrive. You know, we have a lot of listeners to our podcast all over the world who are not in Silicon Valley. And if they want Get wanted, on the plane. <laughs> get on the yeah, plane. I did what he said. But, but Look at Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a guy who is sitting at Harvard. Facebook would still be successful today if he stayed at Harvard. There's no doubt about that, in my mind. He, but he had the sense to come out here and and drag four of his roommates with him um, because he knew out here he would find more engineers, more biz dev people, and be able to build the ecosystem for Facebook faster. But let's imagine, let's let's imagine that everybody can't go on a, get on a plane and come to Silicon Valley. Don't start a company. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's imagine that you're in Latin America or you're in Asia or you're in Europe and you say, I want to create a rich entrepreneurial environment. What would be the three things you would recommend? I mean, there's something you say, I want to at least try. Do you, do you say set up an incubator? Do you say uh, make sure that you bring in a bunch of investors? I mean, what would be the thing that you would recommend? Well, there are some good VCs in Europe. <laughs> so, I mean, if it was an entrepreneur who said, yeah. I'm not moving. Skype, Skype didn't do too bad either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but Skype was funded by Silicon yeah. Valley. Yeah. <laughs> but the Skype, guys have act the Skype guys have actually founded uh, a VC firm called Atomico in England 
which if it was an entrepreneur who wouldn't relocate, I'd say go talk to Atomico, go talk to Balderton Capital, which is some former benchmark guys who I think really add value for entrepreneurs. Dan Danny Reimer at Index. Danny Reimer at Index okay. Ventures is good. So yes, the, there's an ecosystem in Europe, but it's tiny compared to, what we have here. to Silicon the, the, Valley. And you, don't, you, you have lawyers who screw up all the docs. Um, you, the people just don't know the way these companies work, how they should be formed. So it's a special language. It's a special... And, and the other thing is that yeah. part, part of the advantage that I think Silicon Valley's built over time, and this is coming from a guy who moved here, I moved here from Austin for this reason, but um, the very best entrepreneurs in the world make enormous sacrifices to come here and build just awesome companies. And so if you think about some of the best companies in Silicon Valley that have ever been built, they weren't built by native Californians. You know, Silicon Valley isn't so much of a place, it's, a, it's an idea about what's possible and, and what kind of companies can be built. And people who gravitate to that, that set of ideas and that way of thinking and that culture locate here because, that's, because in a hyper, brutally, savagely competitive world of startups, every advantage counts. And, and there's just, all the lights are green here when they're yellow or red in other places. The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.